We're going to be making the veins for our disc brakes. These veins are responsible for helping to cool the disc brake, make sure it doesn't overheat and get too hot. There are a lot of different types of veins. We're going to be making this curve style of vein. It's fairly simple. There's also other styles like this straight style where it's just literally just a straight um, vein style. And then there's some other more fancy ones that are more like diamond shape, which direct the air in different directions, more of a diagonal direction. And you can get even more fancy and just they make all different types of vein styles. There's also this type where there's actually breaks in between the veins. And some styles have a combination of these where you have these breaks at this one and then this one will be solid more like more like this one is so you'd have maybe one like this and then the next one would have a break or two and then another solid one and then another break or two so there's actually quite a few different styles of veins so just be aware of that and there's even disc breaks of course that have no veins at all so they're just solid instead of having veins to help to cool the disc brake they don't have veins and the benefit of having them just being solid is that they are more structurally strong they're stronger but they do not cool as well as these with veins so there are benefits but also drawbacks so we're gonna go back to our blender file and we're gonna right click on this disc brake and we're going to press tab. We're going to switch to face select. We're going to alt right click and we're going to press H to hide this. We're going to go to the back side, alt right click, H to hide this as well. We're going to switch to vertex select and we want to get the vertices that are straight up and down. So we're going to go to side view by pressing 3 and these are the vertices we want, but we actually want the topmost and bottommost vertex on the inside. So we're going to select this one here. We want this one, this bottom one, on the inside. And then on the back, you want to do the same. Hold Shift and select this bottom one here. Then at the top, we want to select this one. So you have three vertices. You want to select this one. And then on the other side, you want to do the same. Continue holding Shift and select this one. So we should have four vertices selected. Then we're going to do Shift D to duplicate. Right click to cancel. F to make a face. P to separate the selection and choose selection. Tab into object mode. Right click to select this new piece. Shift H. It's going to hide everything else. Tab into edit mode. A to select everything. E to extrude, right click to cancel and just bring it over slightly. Then we're going to go to face select, select this face here, delete and choose faces. Then we're going to add modifier, mirror, turn off the X axis, turn on the Y, turn on clipping and turn on this option. And I'm going to switch to vertex select and do three for side view and press A to select everything. I'm going to switch this to median point and you can adjust the size of this in or outward depending on what you feel it should be. Usually these are pretty skinny, these veins. They're mostly just to direct the airflow so they don't want them to be too large. You want to allow enough airflow in between the veins so making them more skinny will allow more airflow. So something like this is probably fine. Another thing to be aware of on these with these veins is their direction. I actually made them on in the incorrect direction in this original one because this would have the wheel over here on this left side, which would mean this would be the left side or the driver's side wheel and disc brake. And the way that I have these veins set up on this if I just show you the veins, this would be the veins would be curving towards the front, and the wheel would also be rotating towards the front. 
the way that they have to be oriented is if the wheel is moving or rotating in this direction, the veins need to be rotating in the opposite direction. So these veins actually should be curving towards the back of the car instead of curving towards the front of the car. If you have a straight vein like this, it doesn't matter which side this disc brake goes on because it will work the same either way. It's just the curved ones that you have to watch out for. Those are the ones that have to be curved in the correct direction. So back to our model, we're going to tab into edit mode and we actually can just apply this in object mode. So go to object mode and we'll just apply this. Then we're going to tab into edit mode. We're going to alt right click, delete and dissolve edges. Then we're going to select these top four vertices, three for side view, change this to 3D cursor, make sure your cursor's in the center by doing shift S cursor to center. So we want this to be curved towards the back this time. So we're going to need to rotate it and we're going to want 40 veins because that's how many vertices we use for our circle. So it will line up nicely. So in order to have 40 veins, we're going to have this one here and then this one's going to be rotated nine degrees so that we have 40 veins. So we're going to do R and then 9 to rotate it 9 degrees and press enter. And in order to curve this, we're going to do control R, left click, right click. Then we're going to do R to rotate again. And this time we're going to do negative 2.25. So in order to get that value, we did 9 degrees here. 4.5 would have been half of that, which would have put it here and half of that again is 2.25 and that's how we get this value. So now we're going to do control B to do a bevel. We're going to mouse wheel up once so we have three. We're going to press the M key a few times. You'll notice down here it says offset just below my mouse. If we press the M key it's going to change to width. If we press it again it's going to change to depth. Press it again and it changes to percent. That's the one we're looking for so it should say percent and then you're going to type in 50, so 50%, and then press enter. So now we have a nice smooth curve. And this is essentially it. The only thing we may want to do is delete these faces here. So switch to face select, select these faces and delete them. And do the same on the back side. You could leave these faces if you wanted to but you're really not going to see them so it's not that important. So now in order to create or to fix the shading we're going to alt right click. We're going to deselect the top and bottom face. We're going to do I to inset and just do a small inset. We're going to select the top and bottom face and we're going to do a small inset again so we're just going to do I to inset and do a small inset. The next thing we want to do is to duplicate and rotate these. The easiest way for that is going to be an array modifier. So we're going to add a modifier and we're going to choose array. We're going to turn off the relative offset, turn on the object offset. We're going to need another empty for this. So we're going to press tab to go to object mode, go to create and choose empty. We're going to press 3 for side view. We're going to do R and then 9 for 9 degrees and press enter. Then we're going to select this piece again. We're going to select this little eyedropper to choose the object and then choose the empty. And now we want to change the count from 2 to 40 and then press enter. So now we have the correct value for how many of these veins that we want. Now we can do Alt H to unhide this and I'm going to just quickly hide all these empties by selecting them with right click and then H to hide. Another thing we could have done is rename that empty so that we don't get so confused because we are getting quite a few 
empties. So in order to do that, I'm just going to do Alt H again. And actually we can probably just select these veins here. So I'm just going to quickly find this empty. It was empty 04 was the one. So it says down here I have the correct empty selected. So I'm going to left click here to change the name. And we're going to change this to vein empty. So we know this one is responsible for the rotation of our veins. So now I'm going to hide all these empties by selecting them and pressing H. And that should be it for the veins. Of course, if you want a different style of vein, feel free to make any of the other styles like these. To make these diamond ones, it's just you have two points, then you add in a loop cut in the middle and scale it out on the y-axis. And then you have three in the center and you rotate one of them to create this other one right here. The straight ones, obviously, pretty simple. You just make the two points and then rotate them, just as we did with the other one. And you can also make other variations like this as well. So once you're happy with this, just go to File and Save. Thank you to our awesome Patreon supporters. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter yourself, head on over to patreon.com slash Thank you for your support.